Hello and welcome to Israeli Fightland. Today I have the great honor of hosting legendary Israeli MMA fighter Chaim Gozali. Recently Chaim became a target for an uh, anti-Semitic and anti-Israeli activist on social media. From anonymous people on Instagram and Twitter to UFC and boxing stars. Hello Chaim, tell us how this whole story started. Hi. So, first of all, it started because of the war. So I started, you know, no, posting about stuff that uh, the Hamas terrorists do in Israel. And I started to post it. And I saw the UFC fighter, you know, like a couple of UFC, UFC fighters, like uh, Khabib, uh, Islam, uh, Balele Muhammad, and uh, Chimaev, you know, posting a lot of lies over on Israel. So I decided to answer them and said, why you lies? But nobody paid attention until I put the names on a, on a missile, you know. I put the name on a missile and I, I took a picture and I posted. So all the Arab, Arabic world started to like getting crazy. Ah, these guys put the name of the champion because he's afraid of them. He cannot fight with them. He cannot do that. And start, you know, like texting me like a lot of messages, like eight messages, they're gonna kill me. I'm talking about like 10,000 messages in one, one day. It's crazy. So I start to answer them, you know? I don't care, you know? I'm willing to fight each one of them, but not in an MMA fight, in a bare knuckle fight. Let's see, you, you, everybody said, you know, they're playing like they're the best in the world and everybody talk about them. Let's, let's do a bare knuckle fight. But nobody answer, of course, because nobody, nobody gonna fight a bare knuckle until Chimaev sent me a, he sent me a message that he said, he's, if he's gonna see me on the street, he's gonna kill me. So I told him, you can kiss my ass. In this words, he told you in this words that if he's gonna meet you. He said like that, you can only fight with children. I swear to God, you will be dead if I meet you one day, one on one. You know that. I understand that, that you want to be famous. And well, something in Arab, I don't know what he, what he said over here, so. I want to be famous, yeah. You know, that's what he said. So if you're going to meet me one on one, he's going to kill me. He think if you're going to meet me, it's like uh, inside of the UFC uh, cage, you know. He doesn't understand what is the streets, but you know, those guys, Born in, uh, I don't know, Chechnya, born in Kazakhstan. They, they, they live like uh, on the mountains, so they think they know something about war or something about life, you know, but I didn't pay attention. But the problem is that everybody, the people that love them, you know, start to like uh, report in my account on uh, all the social media, you know, like Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter. And I got and, and, and the social media start to block me every time, you know. I'm not doing nothing like posting regular stuff, you know, that everybody posting not like uh, violence, not like uh, people like uh, killing people, stuff like that. Everything is like normal from news and stuff, you know, explanation what happened in the war and what happened in Israel. And they block me all over, all the time. They block you like a... Crazy. You know? Even right now. For, they explained the, the, the reason why they blocked you, uh, your accounts? They said uh, hate speech, something like that. Speech, like a hate speech? Yes. Violent speech? Violent speech, violent speech. What I, what I wrote. You made a video about me, this is my answer. This is a violent, uh, this is like a violent uh, speech. You know, they do that all the time. The social media doesn't care. You know, they, they're like a hundreds of millions of people, you know, that they're reporting on your account, so they block you. But nobody check what you did and what you're doing, you know, that you didn't do nothing. The social media block you immediately, you know. Even like, you know, I know that you have a lot of a uh, few accounts. You have an account on TikTok, you have an account on uh, Instagram, Twitter, uh, all over social uh, media uh, network. Uh, I know that recently they also call, uh, they uh, block you, blocked you on uh, X Twitter. They block even my WhatsApp. Seriously? Yeah. My WhatsApp on my phone. WhatsApp send me a message, we block your WhatsApp because you uh, 
sent stuff. I didn't send nothing to nobody, you know, like send uh, violent stuff. So I said that report, like, like I didn't do nothing. It blocked me like for one month. You actually first person that I hear in my life that has blocked on, uh, on WhatsApp. You know, it's crazy, it's crazy. It's good Netflix didn't block me. I don't know how to, to watch movie, you know. So they, bl they blocked me on WhatsApp, they blocked me on uh, Twitter, they blocked me on Facebook, they blocked me on Instagram. It's all, like, they blocked me for one week, it opened, one month, it opened. Everything is open. It's not like I block for life. And uh, that's why I started with the Telegram. Telegram is the best social media they have today. Nobody block you. You can do whatever you want. You can say whatever you want. And what happened with this? Did you get any answer from one of the fighters? For example, from uh, Habib uh, or uh, Islam Mahachi for UFC? Not them, but a lot of fighters that train with them and a lot of coaches that train with them. I got the message, you know, I took the screenshot. So I got the message. Not them specifically, but uh, people that are with them. And you know, the, the, it's because of them. They, they answer me, they, they say they're going to kill me. Everybody kill me, you know. I want to read something that uh, Usman Nurmagomedov, the cousin of uh, Habib Nurmagomedov, uh, wrote to you. You still wear diapers. First, learn to walk. It said that to my son, not to me. Ah, it's to your son. Yeah, but it's also fake. You know why? Before the war, he won the championship. So Aviv is a fighter in the same weight class. It was like a month before the, uh, the, the war. So Aviv wrote them, I'm going to fight you. Next, you know, he's a fighter in the same weight division. It's nothing to do about the war. And then they, pub, they, they posted after the war, yeah, Megamadov answered because of his father that do the, the, you know, the missile stuff, you know, with the names. The, yeah. You know, so it's fake also. This, this happened a month before the, the war even started, you know, so they're doing a lot of fake news. They love the fake news, you know, the, 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 like the Muslim love fake. They love to fake stuff. I saw uh, a picture of a baby like dying 20 times. The same baby, you see him 20 times dying in, the, in, in, in another clothes, in another picture, in another place. The same kid. I'm not talking about the dolls, the, the, you know, the dolls, all the dolls they got, the, 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 the stuff they, they love to, to post fake. And the world believe it. Well, yeah, they're killing children, killing children. So I want to ask the world something. How can it be that the children are dying and the father is standing and crying and the mother is crying? Why the father and mother didn't die? What, the, the bomb is like that going, oh, children, boom, boom on the children, you know? It is the same house they're supposed to be, no? All the time you see children and the parents crying. Never see a parents dying with the children, you know, like a father see his wife and his son die, nothing. Because they're faking it. Everything is faking it, you know? And the world believed it. And now I want to talk about the other guy. He's not Muslim, but you have issues with him. Actually, he has issues with you. Jack Shield. Jack Shield is an anti-Semitic that can be, if he was born in like in the 1930, he was like best man of Hitler. This guy is, uh, is crazy. I cannot even say how crazy he is. He's posting stuff that doesn't even relate to Jewish people and said, ah, the Jewish people kill uh, Kennedy. The Jewish people uh, do the 9-11, you know, stuff like, the, the guy's crazy, so, and he started to interview and said about me, lies, you know, the, 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 the lies that he put, that he said, it was like that. I, I met Chaim in, a, in Hansel Gracie gym, Chaim was afraid to come train with me, and he went to train with Gordon Ryan's brother, Nikki. And Nikki was 13 years old and submit Chaim like a lot of times. You want to see, you want to, you want to hear the truth? What happened the same day? I met him, I rolled with Jack. Me and Jack rolled. I never in my life rolled with, the, with Nikki Ryan, never. You can ask Nikki, never in my life. I always see him in the gym, you know, he was a kid back then. I didn't see him now when he grew up. Never in my life I rolled with him. Aviv rolled with him. Aviv is the same age. They rolled with him. Maybe Jack think I'm Aviv. I don't know. Like, so, he's the, he's the so not the they was in the same age. They, they rolled together. I remember that. I, I, I even have a video of that. But me? I rolled with Jack the, 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 the same day. Why Jack is afraid to say that I rolled with him and said I, I was afraid to roll with him? Ask Jack. 
Jack has become a lie, and he's a disgusting human being. He's posting a lot of lies. But it's good for him because he's got traffic in, on his uh, Twitter. That's what he wants, you know, the traffic because nobody cares about him. The guy was winning five world championships in different, uh, in different uh, organizations, big organizations. Nobody knows who is it, what his name, you know, because nobody cares about him because he's a boring fighter. So now he's finds a meaning to his life. And the meaning is Jewish, Jewish people. And I said to him also, I'm willing to fight you. He said, yeah, let's fight. He said, yeah, bare knuckle. Yeah, I'm willing to fight you, bare knuckle. Okay. And then he said to me, the message, you know, that, you know after that everybody is agreeing, and then the message is coming. Okay, come to the States, meet me in a gym, and we're going to fight. I'm going to come to the States, meet you at the gym to fight? No, 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 no. You want to fight me? A professional fight. In organization, with people to see, with TV and everything. That's I'm going to fight you. I'm going to fight you in the gym. What am I, 12 years old that want to prove himself? No, no. You know, I'm a professional fighter. That's the way I'm fighting. You want to fight me on the street? You need to be careful, you know, you need to take care of your life because it's not going to be a fight in the streets. Has anyone from the MMA scene or uh, martial arts scene all over the world uh, supports Israel or they express the support to you or to Israel? Yeah, a lot of fighters support Israel, but they don't want to do it in uh, public. So they do it on, they send me a message, you know, on Instagram, Facebook, we support you, we love what you're doing. But because of the Arab world buying all the sport around the world, you know, like, like Qatar did with, did with the football, and uh, now uh, Saudi Arabia did with the UFC, and Dubai doing with the UFC and, uh, and uh, Abu Dhabi, you know, so all the big money come from the Arab countries. So this, the athlete doesn't want to do, doesn't want to get involved. So the big, so the quiet, you know, nobody want to, you know, that people, that uh, the, the, the big people with the money and say this one, we don't want him, you know, so everybody's quiet. And the people that spread in aid, you know, in, in the fighting world, it's, you know, it's, it's Muslim. The last news uh, about all the situation is uh, actually about your fight with uh, influencer Muhammad Hijab. What you can tell us about that? He's doing everything, but I don't, uh, he doesn't know how to fight, but he want to fight. He does, he, I put his name also on a, on a missile, you know. So the guy is like saying, like posted, ah, oh, the IDF is afraid of me that they put me on a missile. So I, I, I wrote him, no, 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 not the IDF that doesn't know who you are, it's me. <laughs> I put your name on a missile, not the IDF. And then he said, another post, I'm, I'm, let, let me show you how, the, how they're afraid, you know. I'm giving you 12 hours to answer, not to me. I'm willing to fight any IDF fighter or any Israeli, something like that. <clears throat> I'm willing to fight you. I'm giving you 12 hours to answer. I answer after 10 minutes. I'm, I'm, I'm going to fight you. He didn't answer after one day that I post a video that said, ah, you said, and now you disappear. So he sent me a message. Yeah, let's, uh, this is my uh, manager number. Let's fix. Let's uh, do the fight. So I give my manager the, the number. Yeah, they start to talk. You know? But also, a professional fight, Mr. Muhammad, not uh, in the backyard. I'm not a professional fight with people, with TV with the, all the stuff that I, they need to be like a originally fight, you know, like a professional fight. And also, you know, they wanted to, to be at the UK. I don't know if that it's safe <laughs> for me to go to the UK, but I'm going to come to the UK. I'm not afraid, but we need security. We need everything, you know, because it's a professional fight. If they want to do that, I mean, I don't need two weeks I need to train. That's it. So did, uh, did they talk to your manager? Yeah, they start talking yesterday. I don't know what happened today, what happened, you know, but I'm going to know. They're, they're talking. I saw the message. So it's, uh, do you think it's his will, uh, he will find an uh, option to run away from this fight? I don't know. I don't know the guy. I know the guy is like double me at the size, you know. That's what I know. He's, he's, I think he's like 120 or 30 kilo. The way I see him on the pictures. I'm 85 and I'm willing to fight him. Even the, in that right now, how you're uh, 55, 56? Oh, I'm sorry, 80, 85, 56? 85, yeah, I'm 85 kilo. And I'm willing to fight him, I don't care. 
It's double the size. I, I, I believe it's more than 130 kilo, for sure. But who cares? The guy doesn't know what he's fighting. He thinks he, if he won a jiu-jitsu competition, you know, like a, a white belt or a blue belt, he knows what is, what is to fight. Those people know how to talk. They're just talking and talking and lying and lying and talking. Nobody knows what is to be a, a, a soldier, to fight in a real war. But every Israeli knows. Nobody that doesn't know what is the, the ring, you know, like the, the cage and stuff like that. They know how to talk. You think he's a fighter? Let's fight. I said yes. Just make the deal because it's, it's, it depends on them. I cannot uh, organize event in Israel now because of the war, but he can do that in, uh, in, uh, in England. There's a lot of uh, event over there. So, you know, put us, put the fight in one of the event and let's uh, fight. Are you sure that one of the big Euro promotions will be happy to, uh, to host you on, uh, on the... That's going to be a, a huge fight, I think, because think about the pay-per-view. All the Muslim world, they want to see him beating me and all the Jewish world want to see me beating them. So, you know, it's going to be like a huge fight. It can be, it can be a, a lot of money fight, you know, but I don't know what he's going to fight, you know, even he said he want to fight me, what? Boxing, Bernakel, Jiu Jitsu, I MMA, mean, I don't know. So I said, even karate, I, I, I can fight him. I don't care. I can say you only one thing. If this fight is going to happen, I with you. I'm going to watch this fight. And I think it's, uh, I'm talking not about myself, I'm talking about a lot of Israelis and uh, Jewish people uh, all around the world. I think this fight is going to sell more pay per view than uh, Connor and uh, Mayweather. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not kidding, because the Muslim world, it's a huge world, you know. And now, in this time, nobody, nobody loves Jewish. Nobody want to see, nobody, everybody want to see a, a Jewish fighter getting beat, like losing a fight or getting beat. This fight is going to sell a lot of pay-per-view because no, not a lot of people are going to come to see it, but you know what? A lot of people are going to watch it. Why at the age 50, after having retired several times, do you still want to fight? Do you still want to go to Octagon? I don't have something else, something else to do, you know? It's it, I like to fight. It's make me, you know, make me happy. The adrenaline, you know, the training, you know, you're feeling you're doing something and then all the training, all the training, and then the, the day of the fight, you know, everything is closed over there and winning or losing, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's, you know, the, 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 the road you're doing to the, to the fight. And I miss it all the time, so over here I'm not, not going to have the time to, you know, to do the training. Because probably it's, it's, it's going to be like in one month, not, not in... Uh, it depends when they're actually going to... Yeah, if, 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 a, if a big organization is going to see the potential of this fight, so it's, it's going to take like a couple of months. But I hope somebody is going to see it, you know. Sure, you can. I actually would like to see this fight. Probably if it's going to be like an organization, it's probably going to be the boxing, you know, like, the, like all the new boxing event that you, you, we see, you know, like being an actor against fighter, a fighter against this. Like Paul, this. Paul Logan and the... the, the. Uh, Paul Logan is... Uh, Paul Logan, yeah, Paul Logan, not uh, Jack Logan. Uh, Jack Logan become a fighter, but, you know, like Paul Logan do with Mayweather and this guy do with... The, it's become like, a, you know... It's good for the I, I see it as a good for the sport because it's bringing the sport to the mainstream. But this fight is going to be something like that. So I believe it's going to be boxing, you know, not MMA because MMA doesn't do. But you have an experience in boxing and if special bare knuckles, you're the, you, you are the, the first Israeli that uh, take participant in uh, this kind of this sport. Yeah, I did uh, two, I'm two and oh in uh, bare knuckle fights. So it's different than boxing because you don't have the glove and each punch you give the guy, so you break your hand or you break his face, you know. And break you, your fingers like yeah, you. Yeah, I break my <laughs> hand or I break mm. my face, I break his face, so it's something else. With glove, it's something else, yeah, you know, you can move, you can duck, you know, stuff like that. You know. Actually, the last question is, what do you want to say to all haters and to all people that support you? The people that support me, thank you, I love you all, you're the best. I need your support because uh, this is a bad time, you know, and we like fighting, it's not only the fighting in Gaza, you know, in Gaza, we're fighting also on the social media to spread the truth. So I need your support. To all the haters, I want to say something. The Jewish people are here to stay. 
deal with that, live with that, do whatever you want. But we are here to stay. Thank you very much, Chaim. And thank you too. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and follow it. And I promise you will see much more interesting stuff about Israel and about MMA and fighting scene in Israel.